These days, people seem to use words like malware and spyware a lot more than virus, making the latter conjure memories of Windows 95, AOL CDs, and Jeff Goldblum taking down an alien mothership. So why is that? What qualifies something as a traditional virus, as opposed to the more recent malware designation? And are viruses still around? Great question! To understand what a virus is, we'll start with a look at the original, biological meaning of the word. Biological viruses, like the ones that can make you sick, are parasitic. They inject their own code, in this case either DNA or RNA, into a host cell as a means of replication. This code causes the cell to make a ton of copies of the virus and ultimately burst, sending new viruses everywhere. Rinse and repeat. Computer viruses operate via a similar principle. Unlike some forms of malware, which are fully executable programs, viruses tend to be smaller pieces of code that confuse with other programs or files and only replicate when conditions are right. So they can be triggered by a certain date and time, opening a certain program, or even hitting a certain amount of disk usage of all things. After a virus is triggered, it will try to copy itself and spread, infecting other files and programs along the way, sometimes over a network. And just like real viruses, these virus copies can be a little different from the original, making it hard for antivirus software to eliminate them. Similar to how the many variants of the cold virus make it difficult to create a vaccine for. Some even come encrypted, making detection even more complicated. Of course, viruses, biological or digital, wouldn't be a problem if all they did was just copy themselves. But just like the chickenpox virus will make you sick, a computer virus can contain a payload that will cause some kind of effect, which could be anything from just displaying a joke to permanently corrupting your important data. These days, viruses can trigger DDoS attacks, which you can learn more about up here by infecting lots of computers and getting them all to attack a specific server at once. And since these annoying effects can be caused by other types of malware, many people have used the terms virus and malware interchangeably. But this is incorrect. For example, the famous I love you attack back in 2000 was caused by a standalone script or program disguised as a love letter and sent out via email attachment. So because it emailed itself to other people in the victim's contact list rather than relying on inserting itself into other programs to spread, there was no host program that I love you infected. It would be more accurately referred to as a worm rather than a virus. And indeed, many modern forms of malware like ransomware and adware are also standalone programs that can be passed around and executed on their own, meaning that they aren't really viruses. Which doesn't mean, though, that true viruses aren't still around, causing mayhem and the ill effects they can cause are only really limited by the creativity the black hats programming them have. Things like logging keystrokes to steal your financial data and attacking corporate networks as a destructive form of protest are just the tip of the iceberg. So what can you do? Well, even though modern viruses tend to spread over the internet, unlike the old days where they were mostly spread around by passing corrupted floppy disks and flash drives around, what hasn't changed is the importance of having strong, up-to-date antivirus software installed to help prevent accidental exposure. After all, when risk of viral infection is on the line, you always want to make sure you're, uh, using protection. Squarespace is the simple, powerful, and beautiful website hosting service that has 24-7 live chat and email support and only costs 12 bucks a month. And if you buy it for a year, you get a free domain thrown in as well. It has responsive design, so it looks great on every device. They have commerce modules if you want to sell anything on their site. And they have a cover page feature if you want one of those beautiful modern one-page websites. They also have a new Image Block 2.0 system with flexible layout options to combine text and images as you see fit. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you do decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use offer code TECHWIKI to get 10% off your first purchase. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out channel Super Fun. Uh, we're doing, we're throwing computer cases around today, so that won't be there for a little while, but check that out because that'll be super cool. Uh, subscribe to this channel, hit the little bell, and hit the like notify me when things happen on this channel thing to see all the rest of the Tech Quickie videos, and I'll see you next time.